Turkeys are a bird you don't think about often. Like, you think about them a couple times a year around holidays, but then the rest of the year we forget about them. But turkeys are awesome. Let's learn why. There's several types of turkeys, but only two species. There's the oscillated turkey, that's this bird. Then there's the wild turkey and the domesticated turkey. Those are these birds, but those are the same species. What is special about turkeys? They are really cool. They live in small social groups with one male and up to 20 females. They forage together. They can eat any type of food, from bugs and frogs to fruit and seeds. The male does a territorial gobbling sound, which can be heard up to one mile away. When baby turkeys hatch, they can start following their parents around and looking for food within 24 hours. Did you know wild turkeys can fly? They can, for short bursts, fly up to 55 miles per hour. Wild turkeys can live up to 13 years, but their average lifespan is only one and a half years. Here's a comparison of wild turkeys with domesticated turkeys. Wild turkeys have dark camouflage with decorative frills. Domesticated turkeys are generally white. Wild turkey males average 17 pounds, females are about 9 pounds, while domesticated turkey males can reach 30 pounds within 18 weeks of being hatched. The biggest wild turkey ever recorded was just under 38 pounds, while the biggest domesticated turkey ever recorded was 86 pounds. Wild turkeys can fly and they roost in trees, but domesticated turkeys generally do not fly. And the amazing thing is this is the same species. They've just been raised separately to show different traits. Let's talk about domestication. Domestication is when one species, humans in this case, takes over the care and reproduction of another species, turkeys in this case, for several generations, leading to a genetic difference from the original population. Over time, because the two types of turkey are separate, different gene lines will become more common. So wild turkeys have genes for dark pigment in their feathers, while domesticated turkeys have mostly been bred to have genes for white feathers. Stuff like this would happen between any two separate groups of turkeys given enough time, but humans have sped up the process by selecting for certain traits like fast growth or giant muscles. Wild turkeys nearly went extinct due to hunting and habitat loss, but we were able to help them recover. You can learn more about that story in a different video. The other kind of turkey is the beautiful oscillated turkey, which is native to southern Mexico. They are pretty much the same as far as diet and lifestyle, but they have these amazing colorful feathers. Not to say the wild turkey is ugly, they have beautiful feathers as well. I hope you learned something new about the body and behavior of the amazing turkey. There is so much to learn about what it means to be domesticated and what it takes to thrive in their natural environments. Turkeys are awesome. You can get another helping of bird awesomeness by watching one of these videos and subscribe so you can stay inspired. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome. Turkey in the